Hey, what's going on guys? I am going to announce my next build. Um, it's going to be a very low priority build. It's going to probably go on the back burner multiple times. But I'm pretty excited about it and I didn't want to wait any longer. Even though i got a ton of other projects behind it, I'm going to throw this one into the mix. Um, just because. Just because. I need to move it somewhere else because it's enormous. So let's take a look at it. There it is, is the ATTE toy. <laughs> and what I plan on doing is I plan to make it the uh, the ATTE that you see in clone or in uh, Rebels. It has the added walkways around it, and the, there's a platform on the top, and different paint job and whatnot. But uh, yeah, this thing it's pretty busted up. It will not stand without help. At least not for very long. Most of these legs want to just pop right off. But uh, yeah, that's that's it. It does have the gun. It's intact and fires. <laughs> it has all kinds of fun features like this so you can put your figures inside little stairs for them to go up and down <laughs> stuff like that it's got little side doors it's got little buttons on the top I assume for the electronics because this thing was supposed to walk And it has a couple of front guns that are sort of synced. There's one gun missing on the bottom here. And there's a cockpit. It is also filthy, because who lets children play with toys? It's disgusting. All right, so like I said before, the plan is to make that the Rebels um, ATTE that we see them on, I don't remember the name of the planet. Anyways, uh, it's where they find the, the old clones. There's like four or five of them, four of them, I think. Anyway. And they're, they're out there basically fishing for these giant worms on this desert planet using that walker as their boat, essentially. Um, I, thought, I always thought that was kind of funny and, and kind of cool. Um, so I was kind of looking for one of these things, but I found out how much they cost um, for one in decent shape. It's like pretty expensive. It can be like a hundred bucks. Um, I got that one for free. So that gave me the idea of, hey, I could try to do this thing for almost nothing just using stuff I already have or donated stuff you know or found things or you know whatever whatever junk I have laying around whatever like paints and glues and things like that that I already have so that's the plan it's gonna be kind of a low dough no dough sort of build and it's a, just an, uh, gonna be another way for me to practice my painting skills because it's actually been a good solid six months since I've painted a model so um, I need to keep those skills up and uh, this is a great opportunity to paint something really big. It'll be the biggest thing I've ever painted. So um, I don't know, I'm excited. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, if you have any ideas, um, I'm looking for materials and things I might have laying around. You know, sheets of plastic. You know, maybe stuff from old packaging or I don't know, whatever, whatever I can find. So looking for ideas and uh, pretty excited about this. Anyways, that's it. Um, the build will probably start off by cleaning it off because it is seriously gross. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Okay, let's see how long this can stand on its own weight. It's on all of its feet. 
Who doesn't like this tape? It's fallen off. I, I, all the legs have fallen off except for like one or two, like a couple times now. And it's all stayed up. It won't stay long. Touch it, it'll probably fall apart. 